Servus guys and welcome to my next tutorial on Pulsar. So today we are going to have a look at the research thingy. So there are six, let's say, research points that you can get, six different points, and you get them by collecting plants. And uh, well, the plants uh, end up in the uh, atomizer and will be transferred into research points. So how to get the plants? The plants are on planets and they are hidden. It's very not that easy to find and the research vessel also has well some plants on it so um, there, there's a slight chance that uh, research plants are growing down here. We will see that later on. Um, yeah they are on the planet and um, you have to collect them and they're not that easy to find. There's a thing that the um, scientist officer has uh, a scanner and you can upgrade the scanner or, or res have a research that upgrades your scanner to find those research materials. And this should be the first research you are going for is to get um, the scanner of the scientist to find loot and uh, research material. So if you got some research material open your at atomizer and give the research material the plants into the atomizer click ready and you get the research points. Um, there is no benefit of getting anything else into the atomizer anything else just gets destroyed. So then you have a list of things that you can well research uh, and it shows you how many research points of every type you have to um, yeah, pay for it's it's like this. So, for example, this one is to increase the warp charge thingy, and uh, if you research this, then the engineer gets another rank thing, um, and uh, which he is able to spend rank points on, and for every rank point, the charge rate decreases by twenty percent. So this is a special ability of the engineer, for example. There are other special abilities for the pilot, for the weapons officer, and uh, so on, like turret zoom and so on. And this list shows you, well, let's say, the most possible things that you might research in the next time. So this is not a full list, um, but, um, well, close to things that you are able to Research. So um, the research time depends on your warp charges. So you have to jump for this one for custom jetpack fuel two times. I did now the first jump and um, now it's charged 50%. So after the next jump, we will get um, the, the research and it will be available to all crewmen or to a special class like, uh, well, as I told you, uh, engineers decreasing warp charge. Um, yeah, that will be just available, of course, for the engineer or turret zoom or let's say a uh, turret power uh, for the weapons officer. So, but still go for the scanner of the um, of the scientist. It eases your your life. So, yeah, let's have another check. I think something is grown. There it is. We got some bluff steam. So just connect it. And um, so this is the very big advantage of the research ves vessel. Um, you get a lot of research materials down here, but it's a very weak vessel. But still, I recommend starting with this vessel. Yeah, so let's do it again. Um, you found something on the planet and get it into your um, atomizer. So here, let's say, what do we get? And uh, well, we can't activate the atomizer until the research is finished. So we have to do a jump again. Let's do a blind jump kills the ship but still we got it so now we got one five and one six now so the green thingy we got one green thingy now um, well and this is all about the the research and ooh, quite shaky in here it's all about the research and um, yeah I think they will improve this later on because uh, it would be yeah nice to have a full list of everything that you can research so you so you know how what to save, what research points to save, and um, yeah. So that's all about the research. Yeah, thank you for watching. As always, check out the other Pulsar tutorials in English. There are in German as well. And yeah, have a good day, and see you next time. Servus, guys.